Kumar Rishav, and I'm software engineer at PayPal. I work with web platform engineering team, mostly on Node.js and JavaScript. So I have been working in Node.js from past five, six years. So recently I got opportunity to work on Golang project in my company. So this is my journey and the transition from Node.js developer to Golang. So we were starting. Uh, how many of you is uh, new to Golang? And how many of you are coming from Node.js world? Okay. I think you can relate my story here. So yeah. So both languages, Node.js as well as Golang, celebrating 10 years. Both started in 2009. And this is the latest version in Node.js and Golang. Both have rich set of external libraries and get documentation. So hello world. So this is the first program any developers write when they come to this language, right? Any language. So that's what I did. So this is Node.js. Just grab the binary, node binary, add to the path, write a Node.js, I mean the hello world program, execute it. Or you can use NVM, it's a node version manager tool. Just install it and you can choose any version of node and execute from there. That's all. So I thought how hard it would be to run the hello world program in Go language. So I did, grab the binary, add to the path, and execute it, boom. There were errors about like go path and go root. Then I searched these two keywords on Google search, then I found like 10 of blogs, went through that, then I got a bit of understanding here. So this is my journey, this is not about the language competition, how it failed when I came from Node.js. So gra grab the go binary, if it's in default, it's fine, if it's not, set the go root, then add to the path, then set your workspace. If it's default to home go, it's fine. If not, then set the go path in one variable. After that, you have source, bin, package, then hello world. That's how I wrote my first hello world program. With packet management. So in, in Node.js, we have something called NPM. You might have heard of that. So it's NPM. It's available from very starting. Like Node.js came in 2009, and NPM arrived in 2010. So it's very unopinionated. Everyone uses NPM. It's a CLI tool to manage the whole life cycle of a package. Plus, it's a repository also. It's obviously supported by Node.js. Node.js binary comes with NPM. And it uses the same word for the package and log file to decide what's the final version of resolved package. NPM is centralized. It does security scans manage permissions around your, um, your package. So it was not like that always. So this story of left pad, if you search about this left pad on Google, you'll find. So what happened a few years back? So because of some issue, the developer got angry. And so some of his modules, there's some issue with that. And some lawyer reached out to them. And NPM, they took their module down. And the developer got angry. And he took all his module down. He removed from the NPM repository. So, and left pad is one of the popular modules with lots of module uses and lots of projects depend on that. So it started breaking there. Another thing is, because of centralized and all the package resides in NPM, so you don't know what's the actual source code here. So NPM package code might not be same as the actual source code relies in the GitHub or somewhere. So in package management in Go. So the project I worked on is two years old. It is using Glide. So when I run through the documentation of Glide, Glide lock, and it was saying like, recommending starting using modules. So Go itself, it has lots of tools inside that. You don't need external dependency like NPM. Everything is inside there. Now we have Go modules. What I felt is heavily influenced by the community, like Go modules came like a year back or so, and it took the good stuff from all the tools. That's really nice. Other thing I like about Go is smart imports. So if you see Node.js import, the package name, you don't know where it's coming from. But in Go, you tell where it's coming from. Is it coming from your package or is it coming from some URL? You know what is the source code of that. So you can go check out if it's matching with that package or not. And this stuff, like which I worked on that project, JSON. I mean, JSON was meant for, when it came long back, it meant for JavaScript. So in Node.js or JavaScript, it has first class support. 
in Golang, you can use a struct interface with the help of JSON package. Another thing I liked about Go language here is lint and formatting. If you see Node.js, we don't have any built-in support. There are tools available there, ESLint, Prettier, for the formatting, linting, but in Go, we have built-in support. It will do formatting for you. If some imports are not getting used, if some variables are not getting used, it will tell you, and it won't let you compile it. And there are other tools like Golint. Other thing I like about Go language, test. So yesterday I attended a workshop by Tim about the testing. I really liked it. If you see Node.js, again, we don't have any tools for testing out there. But there are external libraries and tools available, like Mocha, Tape, Tab, Jest. But in Go language, we have Go test tool there, testing package, everything is native in the Go. And it creates coverage report for you also. These things are not there at Node.js at all. And you can create docs from there itself. These are things I really liked about it. So this is to summarize my journey. So on the day zero, because of the workspace two, I hit a wall, I couldn't run the hello world on the first day. After that, bit of friction because of convention naming, like if you have a test file, you have to name test in that file name. And other, I, I felt like it's a bit opinionated here, but once you have been through all this, after that, it's pretty smooth, fast development. Things I like, smart import, built-in formatting, testing, and doc tools. So I really find this documentation help helpful. If you're coming from different language, especially dynamic language like JavaScript, go in detail how it works, workspace, what assumption we have. It's really helpful. And yeah, one more go for in the Google Lang community. Pretty excited about it. Thank you. Thank you.